All right, y'all, here is how I did my foil transfer sheets onto these old Hollister jeans. And let me get this off my chest while I have y'all here because I posted this video last night half asleep. And 30 minutes after I posted it, I had people saying I'm a gatekeeper because I chose to have a real life outside of TikTok and log off after I posted the video. Listen, the girlies who use the term gatekeep whenever they don't have their way or get everything delivered to them by the hand in their mouths, Y'all irk me and please unfollow me if you see this. And also thank you to all the people who were very patient and realized that not all of us live and reside on TikTok. Now that y'all let me vent, let's get into these details, honey. So what you wanna use is the gel transfer, but if you don't have that, I use the acrylic gesso. I am hope I'm saying that right, but if I'm not, whatever, y'all know what I mean. The acrylic gesso is basically a medium to help connect either paint or whatever transfer you're trying to put on your clothing items also another reason why i was using the acrylic gesso is because i already wanted a white background behind my foil transfer i didn't want the foil transfer directly onto the jeans i kind of wanted like a white shadow you do not have to do this step you can most definitely get the clear base acrylic gesso or the clear transfer gel and just apply the foil directly to whatever fabric and you also can do pillows y'all did y'all know that you would put this on any kind of fabric being that i wanted a white shadow i did a base coat of you know just pure white i went all the way up and just did white everywhere honestly this entire process was super easy just make sure that before you apply your foil transfer that it's a thin layer of whatever medium you're going to be using and by medium i mean the gel transfer or the acrylic gesso you just want something that's not too runny if it's too runny you will see it run all over i am just literally making a mess out of this not really there's no structure to what i'm doing i'm just slapping it on there feathering it up so it's not like a line of demarcation and yeah i'm about to do the other side and then we will apply the foil as y'all can tell my idea for these pants was complete and utter chaos i had no desire to give off a clean aesthetic when it came to what i was thinking of doing i wanted my pants to be do too much and i was probably just going to put on a white top i haven't styled these yet but when i do i definitely will post it um i really just wanted these to match my mirror tabby boots so yeah that's where the silver part came in at and the chaos with the simple top and the tabby boots is just gonna give the vibe that y'all gonna see just wait for it i am adding some more of the acrylic gesso just to make sure that the foil transfer actually sticks since the first layer has probably dried already. Now for the foil, you guys. Do not use your regular regular kitchen foil. I had so many comments saying they were just gonna go into their cabinet and use their foil. That's not how this process works. I wish it did because it would be way more, you know, affordable. But nonetheless, here is the type of foil that I use. It is by Cricut and you can buy it at marshall's walmart joann's fabric or you could just go online and get it off amazon i linked it in my bio there is also another brand by iCraft, and it's just called deco foil you can buy that also at joann's fabric or you can go online and grab it after allowing my acrylic gesso to simmer for about maybe 30 to 45 seconds it doesn't need to be super dry i'm just going to line up each foil and i really want it to overlap so that i'm not having any lines of demarcation because you don't want to have any gaps i mean you can because you don't have to have so much foil transfer like i did to get the look that you desire also i want to add that the shiny side of your foil should be up before you press one side of it is dull the other side is shiny always make sure the shiny side is up so you get the the vibrancy that you want onto your fabric so basically i'm just going to line all of my foils up press it all the way in make sure all the acrylic gesso is molded in there you want to grab your iron and press it for about i would say i did one side for about two minutes in total like i just went up and down up and down and sometimes when i peeled it back it wasn't all the way um, transferred, so I would just flip it back over and continue to press until I felt like most of the foil came off. Now, when you do this, all of the foil is not going to go off onto your fabric or your transfer, whatever it is that you're doing. And that's the beautiful thing about the foil transfer sheets is that it gives it a crackle type of vibe. Like you don't want it all to be, you know, a full thing of foil without any cracks 
or dents in there. To wash these denim, you would just flip inside out, place in the washer on cold, and personally, I will allow them to air dry if you wanna have your jeans for long term. If you found this video helpful, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more content.